Today we are going to review how to use the eCubed wizard in Element Online. So when you log in to the main screen, click on the eCubed module, and you'll see this interface where you can enter in the width, height, and depth, as well as any divisions or extra shelves that you need. So we'll go ahead and enter in a width, our height, which will be 24 and a half, and our depth at 12. And if you would like to enter the dimensions in millimeters, you can just simply click this drop down and change the dimensions. So over here, it generates a picture. And this is not to scale, but it's just going to give you a general idea of what your E cube will look like. Um, if you add a division to it, the picture updates to show you that there is a divider added. And if you want to add a shelf, the picture also updates to show you there's a shelf added. So now we'll select our finish. We'll do copper specialty coat. And we can have the option of including glass shelving, or we can um, supply your own glass or own shelving. So we'll go ahead and click include. And when you do that, you get a drop down showing all the different shelf options. We'll just select clear glass. And now we are ready to save and go ahead and generate the quote. So on this screen, we've got two line items added. So there's one E cubed at the dimensions that we typed in, and then the system automatically adds the correct number of shelves at the correct dimensions for the cube that we have created. So if we want to go ahead and um, change anything here, if we want to change the quantity, we can do that. You can add a part number if you want to and just hit save here to save that line and you can also update the finish if you want to do a comparison to see what a stainless finish would look like versus some of our other coated finishes so we are ready to place the order so we'll go ahead and enter in our PO number and our quote reference and build the fab sheet so when we go into the fab sheet builder, this image actually is to scale. So you are able to just see exactly what the E-cube is going to look like. And if you want to make any adjustments to the locations of the dividers or the shelves, you can do that here. Um, everything comes in centered already, but you can use these um, boxes over here to change any dimension. So for example, if we want to make this first division nine inches from the left, we can do that and it comes up with a warning message that says we potentially might be changing the glass size and the quantity. So there we go. And now if we hit save for later, we can come back and edit anything if we would like. And it brings us to this screen. This is the cube. If we go in and hit configure again, we can see all of our changes or if we want to go in and look at the quote we can see now that there are actually two shelf line items because we've changed the shelf size since we moved the divider location so there is a smaller shelf and a larger shelf here so we can go ahead and click start order process again that's our same PO number And there we are, ready to place the order. And we will get a notice that our order has been sent to Element Designs. Thanks for watching.